Hey, what is up guys, it is Silverson here and today I'm going to be giving you guys my review on the Dragon Ball Super episode 88. So this episode pretty much starts right off with Piccolo and Gohan pretty much training. Um, Gohan's pretty much kind of giving it his all. Well, not his all, but he's trying pretty hard against Piccolo. And then pretty much um, Piccolo has like a little flashback to win. Um, you know, Goku told him about the whole tournament thing and such and then he agreed to join and so pretty much he offered to um train Gohan in the meantime before the uh, tournament comes up so pretty much that's what he's doing now and so basically Gohan um transforms into a Super Saiyan at that point and they continue to fight but then it gets cut off as um Krillin and 18 are pretty much training as well um and 18 pretty much wrecks Krillin like she like kicks him um, yeah, she just kicks him, and then he kind of, like, he doesn't get knocked down or anything like that, he just loses, essentially, uh, but yeah, they're pretty much training, um, too, and then pretty much, um, even before that, um, we were back at Bulma's house and whatnot, pretty much Trunks is trying to change Bulma's diaper, and then so pretty much Vegeta comes in and just does it for him, which I thought was kind of funny, um, but pretty much Beerus is just, like, standing around, too, like, just, like, worried. And, like, just wondering, like, how they can be so carefree when, you know, in a few hours or so, the whole universe could, um, be erased and whatnot. But he hasn't told them about it yet because he's worried that if he does, they're going to get very mad at him and stuff and, like, blame him and whatnot. So, again, getting back to Gohan and Piccolo, pretty much Piccolo gives them a little bit of advice saying that if he, like, like, the training and whatnot that they're doing is kind of pointless if he keeps, like, um... You know, believing, like, wishing that he can protect people instead of, like, um, like, just, like, forgetting about that and, like, just clearing his mind and just, um, trying to assess the situation before, um, you know, all of that and whatnot. And that's what he pretty much thinks is the key at that point, pretty much, like, for him to try to unlock his, uh, original power that he had back in the Boo Saga, his, uh, mystic slash ultimate form. Um, that he had so long ago, and so pretty much that was his advice to him, and he was pretty much confident that he, um, he'd do good in the tournament, and so pretty much after that, we cut on to, um, uh, Kaba, and pretty much he's, um, flying around the spaceship, and he goes to this planet, I don't know if it's Planet Sadala, or if it's just, like, a random planet or whatever, but pretty much he flies to it, and he's pretty much, like, in this, um, this, like, Saiyan defense force, um, for that planet. I, I don't know, I feel like it's Planet Sadala, if anywhere, but only time will tell, I guess, they weren't really specific with it, but pretty much he, um, asked his captain, captain, um, if he could help him fight in the tournament and whatnot, and then pretty much he's like, no, because, you know, his leg is broken and whatnot, and he wouldn't be much help. And then so pretty much Kaba shows him um, his Super Saiyan form, the power that he got um, from fighting in the Universe 6 tournament and stuff. And so pretty much um, he suggests that he um, that he recruit his sister because she's pretty powerful and whatnot. And we get a quick glimpse um, of her pretty much just like sitting at this table like eating food and whatnot, which was pretty cool to see. Um, I don't know if she's like... The legendary Super Saiyan or not? I don't think she is though, honestly. Um, I feel like um that character might come down later down the line line the female Broly character, but she still looks pretty cool nonetheless. So finally cutting back to Gohan and Piccolo who are obviously still training. Pretty much Piccolo's um pretty much still kinda mentoring Gohan as they're fighting. Pretty much he's like um you know, trying to, like, um, what's the word, uh, push him, basically, to unlock his, um, full potential and whatnot, and then pretty much he has, like, a little flashback, uh, to when he fought Super Boo, to where, like, you know, he got arrogant and overconfident and whatnot in his power, and he thought the fight was over, but then he got absorbed by Boo, and he let his guard down and whatnot, and so pretty much Gohan, pretty much listens to all of that and he finally unlocks his power and when he does they pretty much fight 
again to where Piccolo um clones himself a lot of the times and whatnot and pretty much he starts trying to fight off all the clones at once and whatnot. A few of them are shooting key blasts at him and such until the real Piccolo actually comes up behind him and then pretty much um Gohan like slices his arm off, like he turns around, he just slices, you know, um it off and pretty much uh, you know, he was like Yes, you know, that's the that's what you need to do during the tournament and whatnot. Don't let your guard down and stuff. But then he actually did let his guard down and pretty much um the the severed hand, the severed arm that um Piccolo had pretty much shot him in the back and whatnot because he let his guard down and such. So it was kind of like a little lesson there. And so pretty much afterwards, um it's nighttime and they're pretty much um cooking some meat at the point and pretty much um uh piccolo saying like don't you want to get even stronger and whatnot you know we could train some more until the tournament uh comes about and then pretty much gohan agrees and whatnot and he's he's pretty much thinking of like a strategy or some kind of technique that they could use during the um tournament and then uh piccolo pretty much agrees to to that and whatnot seeing what they can do and as far as this episode goes i liked it a lot actually like not a lot a lot but like it was pretty good like the pacing was good in my opinion like overall the story was around you know obviously um gohan and piccolo them training and whatnot but i like how they um showed a little bit of other people like 18 um and krillin uh vegeta and bulma beerus and all of them uh even kaba and whatnot i thought that was pretty cool um to see and it's also pretty cool to see gohan actually do something for once and like get his power back um you know, and just be the epic and cool Gohan that we all knew and loved and whatnot. I mean, in all honesty, I'm not really a big Gohan fan. I do like him. I appreciate him. He is pretty cool, no lie. But he's not my favorite, in my opinion. Um, But yeah, I thought this episode was pretty good. So just comment down below. Tell me what you guys thought of this episode. Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Did you think some stuff should have been changed? Some stuff should have been taken out or um removed in any way uh how you guys think you yourselves could have improved this uh episode if you had the chance or whatnot um also tell me what you guys saw this review did you guys like it did you guys hate it uh did you guys think that uh, i could improve it in any kind of way uh please comment that down in the comment section down below and until the next one guys silver sun is out